We wanted to know if this series converges or not. Sigma as n goes from 1 to infinity, square root of n plus 2 over 2n squared plus n plus 1. So let's use a comparison test for this, because as we can see, the numerator, we can just consider the square root of n, and then the denominator, we can consider 2n squared. And then that's something that we can you know, uh, conclude much better right away. And then we can draw a conclusion. So let's put down, this is what we know. Let's just consider sigma as n goes from 1 to infinity. The top, which is just the square root of n, because that's dominating, right? Over the denominator, let's just consider the 2n squared. 2n squared like this. And you don't need to include a 2 if you don't want to, because a constant multiple doesn't change if it converges or not. So perhaps if you would like better, let's not have the 2. Doesn't really matter. If you have the 2, it's fine too. <laughs> Anyways, here we have sigma as n goes from 1 to infinity. The square root of n is like what? This is like n to the 1 half power. So we have n to the 1 half power on the top over n squared on the bottom. 1 half minus 2 is negative 3 half. So we can just bring down that to the denominator. It becomes 1 over n to the positive 3 over 2. And then what we can say is, because this is in the form of 1 over n to the p power, where p is 3 half, and more importantly, that's bigger than 1. Therefore, this series converges by the p-series test. And now, we have choice to use either the limit comparison test or the direct comparison test. It's up to you. And remember, when we want to use the direct comparison test, we have to compare um, the original with something that we know better with inequality. So the algebra sometimes it may be hard. Okay. The limit comparison test is a case that we just consider the limit, compute the limit of an and bn, where bn is something that we know much better. And usually it may be easier. I'm just saying it may be easier. Let's go ahead and do the limit comparison test. So for the limit comparison test, we are going to check as n goes to infinity because we have to check the limit. So I'm just putting this down. I will put down a n, which is the original on the top, square root of n plus 2 over 2n squared plus n plus 1. And then over that, square root of n over n squared. And this is the form that we use, right? Something that we know. And we are going to do some algebra first. This stays, this gets flipped. So we have square root of n plus 2 over 2n squared plus n plus 1 times this right here is n squared over square root of n. And now how can we take the limit? To, have to do this, we are going to consider what's the dominating part on the top. Well, it's not just the n squared, because we have to multiply n squared with that, right? So it's technically the square root of n multiplied it with n squared. Those together is the dominating part, namely we just ignore the plus 2 right here. On the bottom, same. We can just look at 2 square root of two, 2 n squared times the um, square root of n, okay? So this right here, and I'll just write down, I have to draw arrow because I have to show that this approach to the following. So this is square root of n times n squared over 2n squared times, well, this is uh, square root of n. That's pretty much what's happening. And as you can see, the square root of n here cancel with that one, and then the n squared here cancel itself with that one. And namely, all together we just have 1 over 2. That's all. And then earlier, if we include the 2 right here, then you just have the 2 right here, and you still just get a finite answer. As long as you get a finite answer, that's bigger than 0, and it's not infinity. Okay? We get to draw a conclusion. 1 over 2, of course, is greater than 0. Therefore, the limit comparison test works. We get to draw a conclusion. And then the conclusion is, this and that, either they both converge or they both diverge. We know this already converge. Therefore, this has to converge as well. So we'll say the original also 
converges by limit comparison test with the one that we put on over there. We'll just put on with sigma as n goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over n to the 3 over 2 power. And this right here is the conclusion that we want to make. That's all.